So today's guest is the one and only Tina Barrett. Hello. Hello. Do you know, the last time we spoke was actually many years ago. I interviewed you when you brought out the single Fire. Um, which is still on my Spotify playlist as well. It's I absolutely love the track. Oh my god, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I, I did that. It feels like a lifetime ago now, but it was about ten years ago, I think. Fire. So, so yeah, and and I kind of get the odd person coming up saying, "Oh, we really like fire." So, thank you. <laughs> We've got to say for for people who have not heard our interviews kind of before, um, you're obviously best known for your time in, in S Club 7. Now, um, I wanted to go back to the very beginning. How did that actually come about for you? Was that something you auditioned for? Were you approached? I know at the time you were kind of in the early stages of being in Mystique uh, as well. Yes, that's right. Well, uh, S Club was auditioned. So, um, basically, at the time I had... An I was with a, a few dance agencies because I my main thing I was a dancer, so I did lots of sort of TV and just sort of um, music videos and worked with a lot of um, sort of artists as well. And but uh, on the on the side, I was um, in the early stages of a girl band, which was Mystique. So um, so I was sort of doing that in my free time. In um, dance studios, going through the choreography and like um, tracks and stuff. We hadn't approached any record companies at that point. And then, um, and then, basically, I guess it's okay. Um, something's coming in, and it's actually a TV show and it's banned, and um, they they'd like to see you. So I thought, okay, there isn't much of it, and um, it, and it was us. So. <laughs> So when I got a call back saying, um, you know, um, I basically, you know, they they want me as part of the band and they're ready to go, I kind of thought, oh, you know, this sounds like an opportunity you can't sort of, you know, turn down. And um, so, yeah, I sort of um, went um, did it and I guess the rest is history, yeah. Um. What I wanted to speak to you about, obviously, at such a young age, S Club 7 became one of the biggest musical groups in the world. Um, so how did you actually cope with the adjustment of the kind of overnight success that it brought? Because you went from just starting in this group to suddenly being shot into to fame. You were in every magazine, every TV show. So was that kind of a daunting? Yeah. That There's a lot of pressure at a young age. Oh, gosh. So much pressure. Yeah, we, it was hard, I have to say, not right. I don't even remember having a day off, uh, or a day off would be um, in a foreign country, sort of, you know, middle, <laughs> like no family, friends around you. It was just, we were just there in this bubble, and it, you literally, um, it, we were literally non stop for five years. Okay, like, we didn't really have time off at all because it was so, um, what's the word? It was roller coaster completely. So <laughs> it was crazy. And when it first kind of started for you all, did you ever expect yeah. it to become uh, the kind of legendary group that it has become up there with, with Steps? Did you ever expect S Club 7 to, to have the legendary status that it has? Funny enough, because we, we were all aware who Simon Fuller was because he, he been so successful with the Spice Girls. So I think we all went in thinking, wow, we're going to... Um, so I think when you're young as well, you don't go in thinking, oh this might happen, that might happen, you kind of go in thinking, oh my god, I'm going to be a pop star, this is going to be yeah. a okay. so, you, so you are very, what's the word, you're all like wide-eyed and like, you know, you're so sort of young and um, you, so you're not, you're not expecting anything other than, you know, this to be like, oh, my dreams come true. Because, because in a way, it was a little bit like winning the lottery because everything was in place, we didn't have to sort of, you know, um, Shop, shop around for a deal. It was all there. So we literally just sort of went in straight away to the recording studio and then we were flown to Miami and re and um, we actually filmed the show um, before we released the single. So it, we'd done all of that. So we were kind of, we felt like we were sort of, um, you know, it just, it just felt like it was happening, you know, before 
it happened. <laughs> and for you personally, did you always feel that as a group you were fairly treated? Because you hear from so many huge bands yeah. uh, previously that, oh, actually, we didn't get the money we thought we deserved, the kind of the big wigs kind of got that money. Did you ever feel you weren't treated well? Or as a band, did you feel, actually, I, I think we got a, a pretty good deal out of all of this? When the band actually uh, originally split up, um, a lot of people went and did solo stuff, reality TV, but you, you personally kind of, you went very quiet for almost 10 years. Um, what, what was the reason behind that? Because it must have been a, a weird one for you, because music's obviously something you've loved doing for such a long time, and it, it was your life, it was your job, and then when the, the band ended, you, you went kind of on a different path. So did, was that always the intention? remember back in like you said I think it must have been kind of yeah as I say I I remember in 20 I think it was 2011 2012 when we we interviewed you when you had fire that had come out I remember getting the email with the opportunity to interview and I thought wow you know she's back this is brilliant and you could hear the song and at the time I remember thinking it was like this is you now you know you were putting your stamp on this it it felt like you had a, a lot more control in the in the song so is that nice to be able to to work on something and put that kind of um, your your art and your your hard work into to your music? Was it nice to actually have more control over what was being released? Absolutely. I mean, that, um, that's why you know I've I sort of took time out to do like songwriting and get a fire I I wrote and um, and like my the single I've got out now um, I also wrote with. Um, AC Empire, and uh, and it's, that's, it, it's, that's just another part of me, I, you know, obviously, you know, I sang and danced in S Club, but, you know, I also, I'm also quite creative as well, so it, it's nice to kind of uh, do that, do uh, sort of explore that part, and, uh, and I really enjoy it, so... And where does the inspiration actually come from? So when you're kind of, is it? Could you be just watching a TV program and then a bit of a beat comes into your head? Like, how does it all work? The process. Yeah, well, I've, I've written, I've actually written quite a few songs, but the ones that I've released, I guess, are more vibe. You know, that they're, um, they're not sort of um, autobiography, but like it's not like an autobiography type thing. It's it's, it's just because I, you know, I um, I enjoy sort of. Um, going out and, and having fun and, and like fun 
Empire was kind of like, you know, it was all about kind of coming into your own and um, sort of being that, sort of, I don't know. Actually, Pharaoh was a, it was a bit of a sort of back song, um, like being empowered, an empowered woman, and, you know, I'm all about that. So I like, I like to feel, you know, that, um, you know, I'm in um, control, like mm, everyone, you know, maybe you want to be out of control, so it's nice to get your kind of, you know, well, we've grown up now, so it's a different side of us that's not just, you know, smash it, thumbs up, you know, it's a kind of, you know, <laughs> everyone has different shades, you know. And you must be asked this so many times, but obviously we, we've seen JLS, we've seen the Spice Girls, so many groups are, are coming back and they're bringing the nostalgia back. Now, I know obviously Ascom had a, a hugely successful reunion uh, five, five, six years ago now, but are there talks or plans for another full-on reunion at, at the moment? Um, personally, I think we probably do have another reunion in us. So it, um, I, I know a couple of members want to do it, so we just got to get the whole band sort of on board, and absolutely, yeah, I'd love to do it, but obviously it's getting everyone sort of um, available at the same time, and also, you know, what's happening at the minute is, is very yeah. for everyone, Nobody, everyone's in limbo, nobody knows what's happening, so it, it's all very um, sort of scary times. So when you actually did the the original reunion uh, five years ago, was that a, a strange experience having you all? Because obviously over over the years, some of you were uh, were in like S Club Three, and some of you did did shows. But actually having all of you again was it a, a surreal moment? Was, was there a change? Because I guess a lot of you had actually matured over that time. So maybe you looked at things differently. That there, there might not have been certain arguments in the group. Did it just feel different that time? growing up now, um, compared to, you know, before we were so sort of young, and when you're young, you know, things, everything, you're doing everything for the first time, pretty much, and especially in an industry like the music industry, it's not an easy industry to go into, so it was a lot of pressure for, um, when, you're, it, when you're young, and so, at this time, it was, it was just fun, you know, we, we, were, we all, no pressure at all. And um, it was just great being back on stage. It was so nostalgic for us, just like living our childhood as well. <laughs> and the audience um, were, it's just so much love in the audience. You know, it was, it was unbelievable. And one thing I did want to say is actually you're back now uh, with the brand new single. So is that available to buy now? <laughs> Living out your song and, and gonna yeah. do your shopping. Uh, what kind of? Be out in those shops with, like with all the other women, like stamping. Yeah. Uh, what response have you had from the single so far? Well, so um, I released the single uh, January, end of January this year, and the response has been unbelievable actually because I had no kind of PR in place at all. Put it out there. Um, me and producers kind of we we filmed the video because I was in at Canada with us Club Three, so there that's where they're um, based. And so we kind of filmed the video in Canada as I was up there. So kind of you know um, <laughs> in in like the smallest amount of time. But I'm kind of used to that being in us Club. We did we did a lot in a day, so I know how to kind of go get um to me to working on the what's it the clock. <laughs> And, um, and so we did this video and released it. And, yeah, it, it, it's charted in uh, five countries all around the world. Um, Finland, Singapore, South Africa, Mexico, and the UK. So, um, yeah, it, it's got such an amazing response. I'm, like, so happy. And 
and also one of my like favourite magazines of all time. He's an amazing write up at Dave's magazine. Okay. The fashion bible. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm a bit overwhelmed with the response. So yeah, very happy. It's amazing. You can hear the passion and the excitement as you talk there as well. So is this giving you a bit more of a kind of... Because you know when you don't do something for a while and then you start it again, you think, oh, my God, why have I not done this for such a while? Has it given you that, that push to, to keep releasing more and work on an album and, and go a bit further with it this time? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. And I think I think now um, my music industry changed so much. You're, you are able to sort of... You don't have to wait for a major label to come and sort of um, do it for you. You can you can release songs yourself and um, and get get them out and get them heard. So so it's 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 a total new experience for me and yeah I'm absolutely loving it. So and and I I, I must admit I do <laughs> I'm one of these people. I, I do things you know, I like to live a bit dangerously so it, it wasn't it wasn't too daunting releasing something from being so quiet for so long. So, you know, I'm like, why not? And I was going to say, it's been great talking to you, just to, to talk about your career and the things that you've you've experienced and the fact that, you know, now you're back. Um, but like we were just talking about earlier, what a kind of strange time we're all going for at the moment with the lockdown. Have you found yourself doing things that you would normally do? So around the house, are you cooking a lot more? Like what are you doing to, to pass the time? Well, uh, as I said earlier, I have a three-year-old, so no. I literally don't sit down because he's, he is, like, 100 miles an hour. <laughs> and, and now I'm there the whole time. He's like, right, he's, he's literally having, the, like, he's loving it. Like, he's got, you know, um, <laughs> he's, he's so funny, so much fun, so I literally don't, I don't sit down. <laughs> oh, Tina, honestly, I'm just... I was so grateful that you've given us your, your time today and it's nice that people you know can hear from you because we often always hear from s club songs on the radio but to actually know that you know you're all going off to do your own thing you're, you're releasing new music great that you're back uh, doing new music it's always got such a good feel good uh vibe to your, your solo music as well and i think that's what people need uh right now is that kind of pick me up music something you can just listen and enjoy you know when everything's going on as it is at the moment oh yeah absolutely i think really do need um, something uplifting because it, it, it is a bit doom, well, it's doom and gloom at the minute but um, just fingers crossed, you know um, we it gets back to normal sooner than later, but yeah I think, I think everyone's kind of appreciating the small things now now everything's kind of shut and no one can go out like, uh, like we used to so yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We're 